Good afternoon, everyone. This is John Ramos MTG at Tin Street News, and we're going to be going over uh, a deck tech and playthrough with Teamer Turbo Niv combo. Uh, I stumbled upon this idea by playing against it on the ladder, and I felt very behind when I was playing Pyromancer against it because they comboed me both games on turn five. And I wanted to see how it was done. Um, they had sweepers in their list. And Red has some very, very bad sweepers. So I changed up the list a little bit to my liking. Considering that given the announcement that's coming. Uh, I wanted to have some game against aggro and mid-range and control as well. So uh, what are we doing here? Well, we are leveraging the combo with Niv Mizzet Perun, which is a six mana cost, triple blue, triple red creature, legendary. It's a five five flyer that cannot be countered. Whenever you draw a card, Niv Mizzet deals one damage to any target. Whenever a player casts an instant or sorcerer spell, you draw a card. So this is already a way to get around uh spells and a lot of counter magic in in historic it's also playing standard although not as much now uh because of a lot of enchantment based removal uh one of them being uh elspeth conquers death and in standard also niv mizzet doesn't do very well against giant creatures like hydrocrasis and uh aether gust because while the spell says, while niv it says you can't counter him, Aether Gust doesn't counter it, just exiles it or puts it on, so it doesn't really counter something. Now, what are we doing with niv -Mizzet? Well, we're leveraging Curiosity. Curiosity is an, an aura enchantment for one blue that whenever an enchanted, in, whenever enchanted creature deals damage to an opponent, you may draw a card. The reason we're using this is because it's any damage. Not like Curious Obsession where it's combat damage. Curiosity is any damage. So, you enchant niv -Mizzet, and then whenever you draw a card, you deal one point of damage to any target. Whenever you deal damage, you draw a card. Whenever you, deal, whenever you draw a card, you deal damage. Whenever you deal damage, you draw a card. This is an infinite combo loop that deals 20 damage to zero to the opponent. And then your your way of getting there faster than just playing, say, a Jeskai variant is you're using Explore and Growth Spiral to get there. Moreover, you're also using Blood Sun, which does two things. Blood Sun makes lands lose their abilities. So the main use of this is to force Field of the Dead to beat you without Field. And... You're playing a field of the dead field of the dead deck without fields in it because you're playing Blood Sun. Blood Sun also you're utilizing this to cheat out Lotus Field. Lotus Field is a land, has hexproof, meaning that the opponent can't target it. And when Lotus Field enters the battlefield, you sacrifice two lands. It also enters the, enters the battlefield tap, but when you tap it, it adds three mana of any one color. So this is effectively with Blood Sun in play or on the battlefield. This is basically a ramp spell or a ramp combo to get you from 3 mana to 6 mana. So your ideal turn sequence is you either play a Temple or a Triome on turn 1. And then you play a um, any land that's not coming to play tap. So one of your shock lands. Cast Explore or Grow Spiral, put a land into play, hopefully a Temple, look at the top card, and be able to cast Blood Sun and play Lotus Field in the same turn on turn 3. And then either cast Uro or do something. If you can, that's great. If not, it's not a big deal. And then on turn 4, when you untap, you cast Niv-Mizzet and then cast Curiosity on the same turn 
and then you have Magma Quakes, and this is a card that I was trying, because um, initially I had Sweepers, not Magma Quake, but Anger of the Gods, and uh, Storm's Wrath, and other Sweepers in the deck. Instead, I was running into a lot of black-based aggro with Regisar, so I wanted to use Mythos to copy Regisar, and then fight a creature that didn't die, to, that didn't die, and then block Regisar after they discard. So essentially, I'm getting a three for one for four mana. So if they're playing like you know Gruul or Jund Aggro, where they're using like you know I'll just say Gruul Spellbreaker, and they play Regisar, I can copy Regisar, kill Spellbreaker, and then they discard a card and they have to attack into me, and then I can block. So. They lose a creature, they lose Regisar, and then they discarded a card to attack me. So that was what I was leveraging with Mythos. And this can copy anything. I can copy another, or not a niv but I can copy anything on the battlefield. I can even copy another Lotus Field if I need to, or a land if I need to. And then I can also even have my own Field of the Dead if I want to. Um, there is a note or a caveat saying that since there is, as of this recording, it's Sunday the 23rd. And the format is supposed to change tomorrow. And I think you have some play with this other than, you know, any other cards that are, or any other decks that are being played. You're, you're also running 29 lands because you're running so much ramp in that you're, every, every ramp spell you're playing, you have to play a land from your hand. So you need to play a lot more lands. I was at 30, but I was drawing too many. So I cut it down to 29 and I just added another uh, another mythos. So instead of having six ways to do with creatures, I have seven. And then the cyborg is a work in progress because uh, when I initially tested this list, I was dying a lot to creatures. So Regisar is the biggest problem because every aggro deck is playing black for Thoughtseize and then they get uh, an additional creature in Regisar. And then if you're playing red, which... I don't see why you wouldn't, you get Embercleave as well. And then your lands also help you into casting other spells, you know, like Gruul Spellbreaker. So you're a green-black mid-range deck or a Jund Aggro or whatever. And then you're leveraging your Disruption to get around a lot of the stuff. And then they also run, some decks run a Collective Company to get around Sweepers that's kind of like why we're playing Magma Quakes as opposed to Sorcery Speed Sweepers. Because if they mag if they cast um, if they cast Collected Company, you can kind of hedge your bets so that you can still play on instant speed after it resolves. But your sideboard is kind of self-explanatory. Pact of Negation is something I was trying in that you should have enough lands to be able to cast this and pay for it so that you can you know, cast niv Mizzet by itself or the combo, and then Pact of Negation can stop enchantment or creature-based removal where it, this doesn't trigger. And then Spell Pierce is against, you know, anything that's playing discard, like Thoughtseize or Control Decks, because this is the easiest way as a one-mana uh, counterspell. You don't want that many negates or disdainful strokes to three-mana counterspells because they cost too much, and Spell Pierce is probably the best. Wilts are against anything that stops you from your combo, and it's enchantment based. Uh, there was a I was playing against a control deck that was running a lot of enchantment based removal, like uh, Cast Down, Ixalan's Binding, uh, anything that was in white, and I couldn't get rid of it. Or any artifact that I had trouble dealing with, like I I was playing against a um, a Jeskai cycling deck and they had like sarcophagus and all sorts of enchantment and artifact based stuff like Drake Haven and I couldn't deal with it so I added Wills to the sideboard. Brazen Borrower is basically your secondary option against uh, against Regisar. There's not very many good green or red base removal spells against Regisar so Brazen Borrower is kind of like your way to uh, stave off the bleeding while also forcing them to discard. So when they play Regisar, you can use Brazen Borrower to wait for the trigger to resolve and then bounce it, and then they have to still discard a card. And it basically time walks them where they can't attack you. <clears throat> and then Hour of Devastation is kind of like for the white decks that 
that I don't see very often, but it does happen. And also against a lot of Planeswalker decks that I have problems with. This doesn't hit Bolas, but this is kind of like your best 5-mana sweeper that's in red that isn't Magma Quake. One thing to note about Magma Quake, which hasn't come up yet, although it has come up in like control matchups that run like random creatures like uh, Archon of Sun's Grace or Sun Archon or whatever that white creature is that flies. Um, this doesn't hit flyers. So you have to... Um, this is only against low to the ground, but it being an instant is why we're playing it as opposed to Anger of the Gods or anything. And the reason why we're not playing Anger is the best deck that it would be good against and Black Red Pyromancer sacks all their stuff, so Anger really doesn't do anything against them. Especially when it's Sorcery Speed and all their spells are 1-2 to two mana, and they all sacrifice and they're at instant speed. So that's the deck, so let's get into some games. I need to have my headset on. We almost got to plat 2 playing this, and then people stopped playing field, and my win percentage went down, so I had to retool. But there isn't very many good options. I almost considered going to... Um, this hand's not very good. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, what are we against? Luris, so this is the black-red uh, Pyromancer deck, most likely. It's either... So there's two options with this it's either the pyromancer deck or the um azorius or mono white artifact deck it runs a uh, uh, tempered steel or the enchantment based i don't think this is fast enough i think we have to mulligan here and they're on the play we're on the draw uh, i'm gonna mulligan here this hand's not much better we're gonna have to mulligan this too I'm fine with this. Um, I'm not going to keep this because it's essentially mulliganing anyways. And I want the temple to see if I can draw stuff, drawing other stuff. I want to be able to hit all my land drops too. Alright, so this is the mono white. Okay. Don't think we. this is a good matchup for us. Because they're so low to the ground, and our and our sweepers and removal is is basically bam, damage based. They mulligan to five also, or mulligan significantly. So, and then we I've been drawing Niv Mizzets a lot. Um, I guess we're gonna explore here. I didn't want to shock in because I don't want to take any more damage than I need to. Blood Sun's okay, actually. Um, if we can, if we can Lotus Field here, that would be great. Blood Sun allows me to not take any damage from my lands. What does this do? As long as it is assigned combat damage is equal to toughness rather than... Okay. Will they draw a card here? And then they play another one? Nope. Okay. If I can draw Uro here, that would be actually sensational here. Um, we'll play B Blood Sun first. Hopefully to drawing into a Lotus Field here. And then next turn we can play Niv-Mizzet into Curiosity. That's not it. So we're in a bit of trouble here. Um, we have to draw Uro here. It's kind of like our catch-up. We have time, though. Uh, this is not good. So if they have... If they draw another enchantment or all that glitters, we're basically dead. I don't know what their... What their hand is. I have to imagine it's kind of like the... Uh, um, the Kihira's Blessing.
Do I have triple blue? Yeah, I do. So we're just going to play this. And then hopefully we can we can draw a spell. That any spell because curiosity will allow us to to do that. So if I block here and they have double Kahiras, I don't think I can reliably block here. But if if they do have it, then they have it. I think I have to go for the win instead of blocking here, because I'm just gonna I'm I'm basically dead if I block anyway. So I'm not gonna block. If they have double, they have double. Oh, so they have do I double. So I was dead anyway. And I, my next spell wasn't a spell, it was a land. So we're one turn shorter had we had drawn... If we draw Uro, uh, we don't lose there, actually. Because we would have been just at enough life. <laughs> Alright. Um, Mythos is pretty bad against them. Um... Because they could just make it pro blue and I'm and I'm basically dead there. Uh, Will is almost the removal spell, but it gets all that glitters and it stops them from from doing a lot. Actually, we'll probably put this in because you don't your counter magic is not very good against them. Uh, we can probably cut a blood sun and put an extra wilt in. All right, let's try this. The other removal spell, or the other spell I was I was thinking about putting in here was uh, Fire Prophecy. But, yeah, we'll keep this. Yeah, we're on the play, but we have Grow Spiral and Explore. I'm going to play Explore first. Doggy. It is amazing to me. That's fine. So now I can cast Blood Sun. It's kind of annoying that I drew Lotus Field, but it's fine. If they play another one drop here, that's a one one. I'm going to snap Magma Quake. Yeah, I didn't imagine that they would do that. Do I want to scry here? I mean, I'm not casting anything else. Yeah, I think that's fine. I don't need that. I can hit that with this. And that's fine. Um, if they put another... And it was, it was unfortunate, yeah. It was unfortunate that I had to get rid of both my lands, because now I can't reliably... Well, that's fine. Um, we're gonna wilt. We're gonna wilt the, uh, um, the life's bounty right now. Do I want to do it with... Well, I'm not gonna cast anything else. So we'll, we'll add blue here? Or is it green? I know I want to kill this. I just don't know. I think it's green. Because they, they can't sack this, right? Oh, they can. Wow, that sucks. I thought it cost mana. I'm still... I'm so dumb. I should have just hit all that glitters. That was stupid. Um, 
Well, this sort of gets me out of this. So I'm not dead next turn. In fact, uh, I can Magma Quake for a lot. So I can Magma Quake for five here. Hey, you got a Fire Dancer. For some stupid reason, I thought this cost mana. So I'm basically dead now. Alright, well I'm not dead. I drew... I drew very lucky there. So basically my deck rewarded me for... So I get to I get to do this, and then I get to cast Curiosity. And then I get to kill them. Uh, we'll select for zero. I drew all four Lotus Fields in a row. We got lucky there. Like, extremely lucky for me, punt, like, essentially punting there. Alright, um, but that's why you guys come here. To my channel. We punt so you don't have to. Shout out to Steve Hamus for that. Um, I don't think I want anything else. I think we're fine here. Yeah. Oh, who tagged me and what? <laughs> the onion. Okay. Uh, we got Uro into Blood Sun, but I have the combo. I'm going to keep. We just have to hope that they don't go fast, which if they do, they do. But I don't think I can mulligan this hand. And they mulliganed? Okay. Well, we got, we got some turns here, so... We'll just play our game. Uh, we're going to Blood Sun first. Hushbringer? Sure. Alright, so... Wait. Creatures. Alright, that's fine. Hushbringer stops this. So, we can Blood Sun... I, I don't know why players play this, because I'm just going to cast Uro. And then just not play a land. And then cast Blood Sun and play. Because this this allows me to play Uro for free. I don't get the I don't get it on the way in, but they have to remove both of them. And then next turn I get to Blood Sun. Yeah, dude. Attack me. Get him. Yeah, Navarro, that's the goal. Um, We are going to cast Blood Sun here. Appreciate you coming by. Uh, We will play field. Um, I will attack. I mean, I got, I got Wilt and I, I got everything here. Like, I don't think that, I don't think the opponent can win from here. Somebody suggested to me in a discord once that Hushbringer stops a lot. Like, and I'm just like, yeah, it stops Uro on the way in, but Uro doesn't die. I, I, I'm afraid of anybody playing. Like if I was playing white, I'd be afraid of this card. Like. If I'm playing this in my deck anywhere, like, I'm afraid of Uro because I have to remove it as soon as it enters enters play. Yeah, it's fine. This doesn't have... Yeah, it has lifelink. So I can, I can just wilt all that glitters.
Does this stop an enchantment? Yeah. Just fine. Because I'm still gaining... I'm still gaining the life. That's yeah, fine. Yep. I have all four arrows in my hand. I still can't cast niv -Mizzet? Why? Oh, because it's during my... Okay. I'm like, why can't I cast niv -Mizzet here? And then, next turn... Next turn they die? Right? Well, there's no way I'm ever blocking here. Yeah, like, I'm never blocking there, because they're going to take a lot more damage, because I'm going to Magma Quake, make them sack this, and then they take damage. <clears throat> Alright, we got we got lucky there. Our deck bailed us out by drawing all four Lotus Fields in a row. Outlaws Merriman as a reward, that's cool. Alright, let's go again. And then we drew the synergy of our deck when they played Hushbringer, and we drew all four. All we needed was one Uro. We'll be on the play. I think I have to keep this. I'm not too happy about it. Well, I don't need another explorer, that's for damn sure. I'm gonna cast Girl Spar because I can. Man, oh man. Ever since I went to 29 lands, I just cut one land and I, I can hardly ever draw. I can hardly ever draw lands. I need to draw a land here. Okay. Arena just doesn't want me to play Magic, I guess, right now. I guess this is paying this is paying me back for uh, the game that I that I won. All right, so Magma Quake is literally useless in this matchup, so we'll cut those cuz everything flies. We don't care about Kira. Oh, well, actually we do. All right, we're just dead here. Let's probably get spell pierced. No? Okay. Alright. Yep. Blue White Spirits. I have yet to see this deck on the ladder. This is the first time I've ever faced this matchup. Ooh. So Bant Spirits. This is um, I can't do it because Kira... I can't target. Um, this does nothing. Magma Quake has just been... Like, this is the problem with the ladder. Like, Magma Quake is usually good. I put this in here because all I've been facing is just Jund or green-red decks. And then now all I'm facing is stuff that flies. And that's the, the, the nature of the ladder, I guess. Uh, green? Alright, we're dead. Missing lion drops in historic is not something you want to do. Alright, magma quake's bad. Um, hour of devastation is the only thing I get against them. Because Kira is so good. And all of my... I guess Brazen Borrower blocks. That's fine, I guess. Do we want any spell pierces? I guess they get it, but do we really want it? Mythos is so bad, though. I think I need another sweeper that targets... I think I'm going to have to put, like... 
just something other than this, because this costs too much, I think, against them. I don't want Graph Digger's Cage or Spell Pierce. I never faced this matchup, so I don't have anything against them. Magma Quake is so bad. We'll try Spell Pierce and see if it works. I can't imagine that it will because they're just playing a creature based deck with just. Um, probably main deck Spell Pierce's card's really good. Or Lofty Denials. I just, I just can't. I just can't get a. 29 lands and I can't get a hand I can keep. I mean, I'll try it, but. Look at this. <laughs> oh man, I love I love Arena. It's the greatest program ever. Uh, we'll play this. This deck just loves to give me Niv Mizzet. I wish this I wish <laughs> Arena would give me my combos, not not my stuff I can't cast. I don't think we're winning this match. You got it. Uh... Well, we drew a one sweeper. I probably need to shock this in. This card's insane. Um, this signals that they're playing... Um, what's that? It, uh, either Fight is One or the Green One. I can't remember what it's called. I guess we're just playing Explorer. Okay. 29 lands. Uh, uh, it's me... Appreciate the follow. Tori Marcadia, hope you enjoy your stay. Appreciate it. I just can't draw a land here. If I'd have drew a land, I'd been able to actually Mythos here and then Spell Pierce. I, I can't cast this into three open mana. It's just not happening. Yeah. Uh, not not drawing lands in succession is why I'm losing this game. Both games, actually. I, I I can't just I can't draw lands, and then next turn I have to hope that I draw a land that I can play. Uh, I'm going to three here. No, I'm going to two. I can't even shock in a. No, yeah, I've miscounted. <laughs> Come on, man. Fifty-three percent to draw land, and I couldn't draw one in the last three turns. By the way, and we're dead. I can't even copy a, I, I can't even copy a creature because it wouldn't save me here. Going to six doesn't. Yeah, we're dead. Twenty nine lands and I couldn't hit land drops in time. It's frustrating. All right, go again. One and one. It's going faster because everyone's playing aggro because they're anticipating that field's gone, but I'm I'm on the camp that field's not getting banned tomorrow. I honestly think that they're going to un unsuspend or unban something because field doesn't kill as fast as, as other decks do, but whatever. 29 lands and I can't even draw a land. Okay. Can't keep this hand either. In the previous stream before I came uh, live to record this, uh, I stated that this is the reason why I don't play on Sundays is because I, I just I can't keep hands. Um, Curiosities does nothing for us here, so we're gonna bottom it, and then we're gonna bottom 
probably bought um one of these lands. It's probably the red the the blue source here. Nah, the only thing that costs well we need we do need double red, but that's what we get. We're gonna bottom this. We can draw a row. That sucks. But at least we kept Uro on top. I don't need another Lotus Field. It's only fitting that I would have to mulligan twice against a uh, mono black discard deck. Okay. So, magma quakes aren't good here. Um. Magma Quakes aren't good here. What else isn't? Blood Sun actually is relevant because it turns off their castles. Actually, Magma Quake is actually fine because they're just playing... They're just playing... They're playing these, but I don't know. I need to be able to... Croxa, sure. Sure. You're playing Languish in a deck that uses Fenlurker, sure. Um. Yeah, we're dead. That was fun. All right, I'm actually gonna take out the combo here, um, because I don't think I'm gonna be able to ever have a hand. So I'm gonna take out the combo here, and then just play a blue a, a teamer a teamer control deck. That just uses Uro, I guess. Because there's no way I'm ever with with just every every card that they play is just discard a card. I'm never gonna have a hand to be able to um to do what I want to do. And at least here I get to have every interactive spell, um, especially spell pierce, to kind of like hedge around and get around some of the stuff, but I don't know. This seems like a horrific matchup for us. It's even possible to cut lands. But like all the decks I'm playing against, I'm I'm not they're all first for me. I didn't play against any discard decks. I didn't play against any spirits. It was all leading up to my testing has all been either blue based control decks with blue white, Esper, Jeskai, whatever, or green red Embercleave decks. And that's fine. Go away. Um, we'll keep this to cycle it if we need to. Um, yeah, we'll temple here. Don't need that. Fen Lurker is probably coming. Or Croxa. Yeah. Um, probably don't need this. It's unfortunate that I drew this. Cause I can't I can't Blood Sun and do this. I'm actually not gonna put a land into play. I'm gonna keep this for the discard. Because I can play Blood Sun into this.
Okay, so this this forces me to discard something. So what we're gonna do is play Blood Sun. Draw a card. What does it say? Non-creature? That's a creature. So we'll play Blood and then Magma Quake for one. And then they don't get any cards out of our hand with this. Yeah, they're gonna get our graveyard, but I mean, what else can I do? And then we'll have to wait for this to go off if we draw into. Yeah, I'm just gonna pitch. Uh, what do I want to pitch? It's probably the temple because I can still cycle this. What's the play here? Um, so the play I'm thinking of is bouncing Elspeth's Nightmare. And then playing Borrower, cycling Triome. Or just playing Triome. I, wa I really want to cycle it, though. Because I want to play Borrower on the same turn. I think I want to cycle this now because I want to be able to cast this I have to play this even though I don't want to or just not cycle it at least it puts it in my graveyard yeah I'm just gonna let them make me discard it that's fine with me no make me discard it it's fine and then I play this. And then I have Spell Pierce. I think I have to kill this. Now I get to cast Uro. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna keep this in my hand because I have no reason to play it. Force them to use discard against me. I need to draw something else. So play Murderous Rider here. Another one. All right. They're gonna make me discard it anyway. So I drew no counter magic either, except spell pierce in the beginning. I get well, no, I, I drew spell pierce in the in game or in the early turn. So I'm drawing no no ramp spells other than other yeah no grow spiral no explorer. Ironically, I actually got to six mana, so I could have played. I could have actually if I draw into a magma quake here. Um, we're actually okay. I have to draw it like right now though. Uro's a start. Um, I need to draw Magma Quake here. Um, if I draw Magma Quake, it's one, two, three, four. Ugh.
I can't play it. Because I was already going to be discarded anyway, and I don't really care. By the time they make me... Um, by the time they make me... Uh, get to removing my graveyard, I was already dead. And I take three here. I need to... Come on. No! <laughs> come on. Why are you drawing lands, opponent? Or arena? What is the deal? Yeah, we're dead. This deck just can't... Arena doesn't doesn't know what to do. Don't draw lands. Draw too many lands. Man. I didn't draw any Magma Quakes. Actually, I did. When did it get discarded? Oh, I cast it because I had to kill... Because I wanted to kill because I was getting it discarded anyway. That's right. That's right. All right. Yep, we're dead. Good game, opponent. We we're so close. I mean, close to stabilizing. Because they can't. They couldn't sack a land. They couldn't do it. So they're they're effectively. They would have been. Um. Like we draw magma quake there, we're fine, so to speak. Because they only had like two, three cards in their hand. And they weren't able to to grind it back. Uh, we've been on the record path for 47. Yeah, we can play one more here. Try to try to get to to two and two. I think everyone on Arena is assuming that Field is going to be banned tomorrow, and I'm going to laugh hysterically when it's not, because I really don't think it should be. Not saying it won't be or it will be, but that's what the Twitterverse and everybody keeps saying is that Field is going to be banned. Although some of us who who actually play the format don't believe that it should be. I'm going to keep this on the back that I have two temples. And I can play Explore here. All right, well, we're fine here. Um, I don't need extra lands now because next turn I get to explore into a temple and then cast Blood Sun. Oh, this is the company deck. This is the deck that I think is is actually very good. Um, this is the company deck. So this is turn two. This is about to be turn three. Um, they can't cast Citadel next turn, I don't think. But... This turn can effectively combo you out on turn three. I don't need another land. You got it. Kind of insulated against them. It's kind of upsetting that I drew that now. Now they can Citadel here. Ooh, Garrick's Huntsman? Or Garrick? How does this work? Can I Magma Quake here? Two, three, four, five. If I Magma Quake, this this has to die, right? I think it does. We're about to find out because I need to kill everything. Yeah, because they have to die first. Okay. So this is just a green-black mid-range deck. All right. Um, I guess we'll Blood Sun here. Grow Spiral. Grow Spiral. 
Oh, uh, we'll play one and cycle the other. I'm not going to cycle it to the end of the turn since they're playing Thoughtseize. Yeah, they can get this, but that's fine. Slightly upsetting, I drew another curiosity when I'm trying to find... Well, this is fine. Uh, we'll copy Gargaroth and kill the token. Are they really considering killing their own Gargaroth? That'd be kind of funny. Oh, they could have killed my Gargaroth if they had if they had removal. Oh, I'm not going to Curiosity here because I can't get any value off of it. Um, depending on what what the opponent does with Gargaroth will determine how we do with ours. So if they attack and draw, we'll we'll block and draw. I think I'm tempted to. How many cards do I have? Nine? I think I'm tempted to draw anyways. Well, Uro was a good draw. Alright, they're dead. Unless they have a removal spell for this. GG. Alright, so we're against basically green-black mid-range. Um, Magma Quake was actually surprising there. Mythos was Dece. Um, <sighs> I don't really care about Spell Pierce here. Maybe I do. But they were kind of slow. They were kind of like a bigger version. Trying to ramp into their stuff. I think we got lucky in drawing Magma Quake there. What do we want to do here? Hour of Devastation. I'm almost going to cut this card. It hasn't done anything. It's probably better just to be a fourth Magma Quake or cutting this and Narset's Reversal for like two Anger of the Gods just to have some early interaction. Um, Mythos was fine. Magma Quake's fine. Um, I'm just going to run it back and if they bring in more discard then it'll really, like, depending on what the opponent sides into will determine how we're going to how we're going to do this, because I'm fine against most of their stuff. This hand I can't keep. Um, I have Temple, so I'm going to keep this. Bin this. And we're on the draw. I did not want to draw that. Drawing a land is fine. So next turn I get to explore, play a land, hopefully drawing a land. Thoughtsy, sure. I mean, I guess. Um, this. Play Explore. Uh, play this. So they had no acceleration. I wonder if they cut it all. Ooh. Another Thoughtseize? What do you take here? It's got to be Mythos, right? 
Well, they took Magma Quake, sure. Scavenging ooze? Um, I think I have to Mythos this, right? Like, they know I have it, and they didn't play a land. Yeah, I'm gonna mythos this. Because next turn I get to temple and hopefully draw land. Unless they have another scavenging ears. <laughs> All their black mana is not swamps. Duress? Nice duress. So we'll temple first. I'll draw mythos. It's fine. Now next turn, if they have something, I can I can Mythos. They're probably drawing a card here. I can actually Mythos for that. Huh. Do I want to Mythos for a Castle Lockthwain? But I can't draw any cards off of it. I guess we're saying go. I'm going to draw a card and take three damage. I'm fine with that, actually. They, they took out all their ramp spells, probably. Um, so they didn't. What did they take out? Interesting. Oof. So they get, they get to cast Garrick here? No. What do you have in your hand? Um, we're gonna cast Blood Sun. I'm surprised they didn't draw our uh well now we got the combo, so now I get to do this. One, two, three, four, five. So now if they kill this, they don't have a way to interact with this combo now? This card is so bad. Now, now I have double, so if they have a removal spell for this, I still get to kill them. I didn't hit them because I don't need to, because I'm just going to cast another one. This is actually the best one of the better removal spells in Historic. Another one? That's fine. Um, we're actually going to cast Growth Spiral. Um, I think I want to kill Visionary here. put that in the battlefield and kill this that's fine and 
another blood sun. Oh, we'll cycle. And this allows us to cast Uro. One, two, three, four, five. Blood Sun is just doing work because they can't draw cards with Castle. Now we'll put that into play. Like, sometimes the deck works and then other times it doesn't. Like, you have bad matchups. Because it's so glass cannon -y, discard just makes you makes you so bad. I'll just cast another Blood Sun. Curiosity. I'm going to have to kill this eventually. Like, they've been drawing pretty well, too. Like, all of their stuff has been all removal spells. Maelstrom Pulse? That's kind of annoying. Yep. Um. So I can Magma Quake here, getting rid of this, and then Mythosa land, and then Uro again, because they're gonna have to spend four mana to draw a spell or draw a card. Yeah, I'm just gonna Magma Quake now. This way I can get Uro on the battlefield and then put Curiosity on it. Uh, we'll Mythos... Uh, a Castle, I guess? Because I have no reason to, to do any of these. It's a good sign for us. I was about to say, if they drew a removal spell, oh my goodness. Eh, whatever. Uh, we'll get rid of that in this. Just to put more cards in the graveyard, just in case they kill this. I'm going to keep this land in my hand. Just in case I have to discard it to something. So they can draw twice here. But they'll be without without mana. Well I have to I have to attack here. And then draw. Yeah. Double growth spiral. Um I'll play one. Oh, now they're dead. <laughs> Back to parody. All right, two two. Let's go for the. Let's go for the three two. The usual on Mitgo five five match league. I will open the pack here since we're here. I have all the rares from Theros. Okay. All right, here we go. That discard deck is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. That might be a good way to fit the fight field too. Um, I can't keep this. This hand's fine. 
Um, we'll bin the Triome. It's either the Triome or Lotus Field. I think I'm going to bin Lotus Field here. But I have Temple and Explore for Blood Sun, though. I think I have to go for the... For the... For that play. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. Is this my favorite deck? Ooh, they're not playing with Luris, though. I wonder why. Unless they're playing Luris main. Fiend Artisan's an interesting... Interesting addition. I don't need lands. I got those. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I'm not upset at the opponent. This is this is kind of funny. Um Like I can really I can Ashiok them. Like Mythos, Mythos Ashiok. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to Mythos Ashiok them. So they're playing four main deck Ashiok. I mean, yeah, they get to they get to attack me for at least two on my Ashiok here. What do they got here? Murderous Rider main. So this is a sacrifice strategy here. I'm interested in this list though, because the Ashiok is fueling their graveyard. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, that's kind of annoying. Dude, this deck is insane. I am impressed. I like this deck. This is a diff this is a nice take. Um I think I have to play Lotus Field here. And then Temple. I don't need Curiosity. I need a way to deal with the battlefield here. So they can fame this. I, I I like the opponent's deck. I I like this di this different take on the archetype with Fiend Artisan and Ashiok, which Ashiok Ashiok alone stops the field, like slows the field matchup down so much that like you can do whatever you want. Um, I'm drawing way too many fields here. Interesting. All right, we're dead here, I think. Um, I have to draw. If I have this four, five. 
No, we're dead because they have fame. I'm dead. All right. We'll see if the opponent sees it. All right, famous the other one. Okay. All righty. Um. So, what do we do here? <sighs> I think I want spell peers because they have a lot of spells. Like, yeah, they have Lurus and all that. Uh, I think I'm going to take the combo out. Graph Digger's Cage. Cut a Blood Sun. Borrower, Hour of Devastation. And then just try to beat him on the on the Uro plan, although that doesn't seem very good either. And you just turn into a control deck. This seems really bad. But Cage stops them from like doing everything. Maybe I don't need spell pierce. Borrower's fine. Mainly only go to two Mythos. Because I'm not trying to kill their creatures. I mean, I'm not trying to kill their creatures with this because I can't... This with uh, their Fiend Artisan doesn't do much. And still play and still play Niv-Mizzet. Blood Sun was sort of relevant, but so play it like this. You didn't really have any like enchantments or whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna try this. That was a different take. I'm I'm impressed. I like it. A little bit creaturey though. Yeah, I'll keep. Uh we're gonna temple first. Are we going to temple first? Nah, we're not going to temple first. We're going to breeding pool into into island, into growth spiral. And then temple there, from there. Archfiend vessel, that's cute. Uh, yes. I don't need more lands. They were playing four Ashiok's main, which is relevant. I like this. I like this version. Um, I'm not gonna be able to play Explorer on the same turn, so I'm just gonna play. I'm just gonna play Uro here. It's kind of annoying. I'm already done ramping. I don't need more lands. Like I need, I need action now. Uh, Lotus Field here. Uh, this and this. And then next turn I get to cast Uro. That's fine. Interesting. I drew Magma Quake, which I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use until they they commit more to the board here. Uh, I'm gonna explore first. All right, so play this. Play this.
And then explore again. Alright. So now I get to I get to Magma Quake and play Uro on the same turn. Assuming they commit more to the board here. Um, if they play Crocs, I just pitch Growth Spiral here. Nothing. Huh. Well, playing Uro draws me a card, and if they kill it, like with Murderous Rider or whatever, um, I take 5, so I go to 12. And then I play Growth Spiral or another Uro. I just want to get this out so that they don't so that they don't uh, ashiok me here. I don't think I need to shock that in. I mean, if you're going to allow me. I wish I drew a counter spell there, or did I take them all out? Yeah, I figured they had Murderous Rider. So I go to I go to twelve here. And then we kill him. Yeah, there's just... So I'm glad I put the combo back in, to be honest. So... Um... So they went more of an aggro approach, or they just didn't draw what they needed. Um... I did like the approach that I took in cutting some of the curiosities, because Niv-Mizzet on, on, on Niv-Mizzet's own can do what you need. Um, they did not play anything close to a cage type plan. Um, but I don't think I want Blood Sun here. Maybe I do. And maybe I just don't need Mythos, like cut Mythos on the draw and have like Spell Pierce. For, like, if they, like, BCG or Murderous Rider me. The Spell Pierce is really good against the adventure stuff. Excuse me. So, like, something like this. If that's what they're going to stay at. It doesn't seem like they re -cyboarded, so we're probably on the same plan. Although, we took forever. I'm going to keep this on the back that I have Temple, and I'm on the draw. Uh, we have, um, I have Magma Quake for their creatures. I'm not going to play Digger, I'm not going to play Cage here because I have Spell Pierce, and they don't have Double Black yet. That's fine. So now I get to play Island and not do anything and then Magma Quake for zero. I'm not even going to play Explore. Oh, please do.
The question is, is do I cage here? Do I cage or just get rid of... Get rid of their stuff? I think if I play cage and then explore... Like, play explore first and then cage... Like, I have insulation against double discard here, and they're down to two cards. That was Dece. I think I have to play Cage here. And then now I get to... I have... I have Magma Quake. Croxa? That's fine. Uh, we're gonna pitch... We're gonna pitch, uh... niv -Mizzet here. Because we can't... We're not anywhere... We're not even where close to casting it. Alright, we're good. So the opponent can't... Can't get Croxa back. And... Bone Crusher Giant? Sure. So they're gonna attack. I'm gonna Magma Quake. Yeah, I got a Magma Quake here. This is a sorcery, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, not drawing a land there sucks. Um, I can't Magma Quake. And then I'm going to take six next turn. If they fame it, I can bounce it with Brazen Borrower. And then I only take two damage. So they didn't even fame it. Okay. Archfiend Vessel? That's fine. So we drew the land. Um, I don't want a Brazen Borrower. We're fine. It's their turn now. Nah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it for four. You you can't claim, dude. Yeah. Cage just stops that whole deck, no matter what the build is. Um that last match perfectly shows how you have to continuously adapt your your strategy um, for their strategy. It's kind of like a, a juke for juke type. And um, you have you have play with everything. I apologize. Uh, the wife sent me something. I forgot to mute my forgot to mute my my stuff um oh wearing the sunglasses okay I apologize so what of the list? So we went 3-2. Um, we got crushed by... What did we get crushed by? 
Uh, we got crushed by mono black or mostly mono black discard with Croxa, and we lost to um, uh, spirits. Uh, I think again, and then we beat green black mid range, going a little bit bigger with ram spells in the uh, Garrick and uh, Gargaroth which I wasn't expecting. And they played just a bunch of removal spells with Maelstrom Pulse and... Um, Maelstrom Pulse and Eliminates and a bunch of stuff like that. And then using Castles to draw cards. Uh, and, we got, and we got to combo some people out. So there's something here. I think there has to be a way to leverage, you know your it's possible that you don't need three cages although i like the idea of having three of them because against um against any graveyard strategy you need one and a lot of them play a lot of them play like ma either main deck of braids or a lot of artifact removal post board because this card is such a nightmare against them because they can't do anything they can't claim they can't dreadhorde arcanist they can't uh they can't use their their uh their lurises or their their croxas or anything right this card just completely just shuts them down um and i've played enough black red mid-range black red pyromancer to know how frustrating this card is that's why you have to play at least three to four and almost one main deck artifact removal spell because of Karn, because it it, Karn can get this on game in game one. Um, I'm gonna cut Narset's reversal because it it I never cited it in, and I don't think I've ever cited it in against any matchup. Um, Brazen Borrower was kind of relevant if I cast it, but it was like a reset button. I didn't face any of the decks that I would use this in. This this card is specifically for. Um, time walking the opponent on uh, Rotting Regisaur because red doesn't have any good removal spell against that specific creature so we're using Brazen Borrowers to kind of like time walk them so uh, the opponent goes turn two with either Land War Elf or Goose or whatever the, whatever the opponent's playing and then they turn to Riding Registrar, they discard, and then you just bounce it back to their hand when they attack you, and then they have to replay it. And it's like a, it's almost like a two for one for you, but it gives you um, a secondary answer to it on an, in an earlier turn. And then Mythos was my suggestion against the card Riding Registrar because you kill whatever they play, and then they may have to discard, and then you they attack you. They have to attack you. Um, Blood Sun came in clutch some games, like just randomly stopping random stuff like Fable Passages and, um, Castles. You could probably, I don't think you want to go to three because you're playing Lotus Fields and having de facto dual lands in Steam Vents, Stomping Grounds, and Breeding Pools coming into play without having to, um, bring them into play untapped and shocking yourself uh i've been messing around with the mana base and this is where i'm at with it i think 29 lands is probably where you should be 30 lands i think is too many and while we did have one match where we didn't like we couldn't draw anything um the the games that we drew lands and we drew action um we did what we we're supposed to do we got to combo a couple times and we won three games off of it, or three matches off of it. Um, I'm happy with the Magma Quakes, although I think this needs to be... Um, you gotta have... I, I'm pretty sure that I just need to cut this card and put... Um, so, like, cut this, cut this, and go... Like this. Because this this deals with a lot. And while this... Or Storm's Wrath, one or the other. Storm's Wrath is probably going to be get is probably going to get the call here because it, it deals with questing beasts. Although we didn't face it, so two sweepers to bring in for one Blood Sun or Magma Quakes if they're bad. So like you cut 
you like cut a land or or cut blood sun and another card so like one curiosity one blood sun and you got more more at your disposal um wilt didn't come into play here um it's probably a one of just kind of like an off chance that you that you use it the card that i was surprised with that i didn't think that i would need to to kind of think about is uh not ashiok but either um scavenging use or narset to kind of like stop draws but narset's also a card that actually stops this combo outright because you can't draw a card oh you can only draw one card right so like it stops the combo um we may need to think about how to stop that in that either pact of negation or spell pierce this probably needs to be a fourth spell pierce or something else negate didn't matter it, there's a lot of times where you're just like um i don't want to cut any of my ramp spells because i'm a combo deck i'm a combo deck game one and then i side in stuff to kind of mitigate that if it, whatever card is bad right so against discard I, i'm never i'm never gonna have um my curiosities or my niv mizzets so like you would cut curiosities and like two niv mizzets and then you need probably negate and maybe a wilt or a spell pierce need to be something like chemist's insight or or something else but this deck there's something here i just don't know i'm just not sure what else to go from here but there's something here and blood sun makes it happen by stopping random stuff and it also stops field if field is if field's not banned, this deck beats field. Like, I think when I first built it, I played against two to three field, and I didn't lose. Like, I didn't lose a game. So, because you just combo them, and they can't kill... They, they don't have interaction with you. They have maybe Pact of Negation, but they can't counter this, so they have to counter Curiosity. And if they don't, they just lose, because all of their stuff are lands. And then the spells that they have to kill this, or try to, are all spell-based. They're not enchantments or creatures. And then if you need, like, help... I didn't have Mythos against them, but Mythos allows me to get fields if I need to. Or whatever they or whatever they play. <clears throat> so, Uro was surprising. It's still good. Um, this card is good in every format. If you're, if you're, if you're playing mid-range or any blue deck, you should be playing, you should be playing Uro's. Um, it's possible that Pact of Negation needs to be something else and Negate also, but this is where I am with it, and I encourage you to give it a whirl. Uh, as you saw, we went 3-2, and we had a really, really bad, um, a really, really bad game against a deck that we just didn't draw anything. We, we had a mulligan a lot, didn't draw lands, didn't, and missed land drops and all that. But the deck that we got crushed by was Spirits, and we didn't really have anything against them because they're all creatures, and you need stuff against them that isn't counterable. Um, a card that could go like specifically against Spirits, although I don't think I would play it, is Volcanic Fallout. That's in the format. But I think Anger is, is good enough, and you just kind of leverage Spell Pierce to back it up with Anger. And then you kind of like cut a lot of your combo pieces because all you need to do is resolve Niv-Mizzet once. And basically, you just, they, I don't think they can beat you. Because they have to kill you by then. So it's like you cut two Curiosity, maybe all four of them. Four Curiosity, two Blood Suns, and then you just board in, like, your Counterspell packages and your Anger of the Gods and just go and go to town on them or bring a couple of Cages in. This probably just should be two. But bring a couple of Cages in so they can't, you know, collect a company you if they're playing it. And then you use your Counter Magic to leverage your, your Sweepers because... Uh, Magma Quake is just embarrassing against them because all the creatures fly. Um, or you can play... Or this may be just something else. And just don't play Counter Magic and just play bigger creatures. That's an idea. Where you juke them with the combo and just play like a creature plan instead of Counter Magic. That's another avenue to explore. Like instead of Niv-Mizzet and Curiosity, you have like uh, four Gargaroths and like... Um, like two Questing Beasts or something. Or four Questing Beasts, three Gargaroths. And you like kind of like juke them that kind of plan but that's like something you have to play with after the the uh the bands 
after they take effect tomorrow. But, uh, but yeah, this is Turbo, Turbo Nivo Combo. Um, I like it. It's one of my favorite decks that isn't Black Rare Pyromancer. But we're going to end it here. And for the, uh, for the YouTubers and the Tin Street News readers and watchers, and uh, let me know what you let me know what you think in the comments. What you would change? What you would add? Uh, but if if you're going to suggest something, uh, please know that if you're going to suggest something either in the main or in the sideboard, tell me what card that like what you're going to change, and then give me like a constructive criticism of why why it should be. I I don't I don't particularly like just players just suggesting cards just like willy nilly and not having like what problem does it solve that this that this deck has that can be solved by a different card that's already here right but let me know what you know what you think in the comments and we'll try to do another one with the same deck some other time and we'll get to that when we can all right see you then